Hello and welcome to our series. Today we are going to be talking about um, different snack foods for the <clears throat> college student. The nutritional facts of each of them. Mm -hmm. And what would you prefer? You know, what Maybe. would I prefer? She prefers something different. We don't really have to fight over our food for the most right. part. Like I, I've gone through these weekends in the past about three days, and right. they're just they're my favorite snack. Um. Well, why don't why don't you start? Well, let's see. These wheat thins here are a nice crisp cracker. Mm -hmm. They just kind of melt in your mouth. You know, they're just they're not too salty, not too sweet. Let's see, 140 calories for 16 crackers. I guess I, I should probably just start counting my crackers as I eat them because wow, that's a lot of calories, but. No cholesterol, potassium, 60 milligrams. That's 2% that's of your daily value, so yeah. Let's do a potassium like this. I don't really know. I just, I feel like, I feel like wheat thins are great for anybody. You can eat them in college. You can eat them if you're like a pregnant lady trying to snack. It's just really whatever you want to do, you know? Mm. But my personal, my personal favorite is to put cheese on them, you know. My cheese whiz especially, but my fish seems to like, my fish Nemo. <laughs> You'll hear a lot about Nemo. He steals my cheese whiz. So we've been having a fight recently, but Nemo takes my cheese whiz and Fabio takes the wheat thin. So it's just a little difficult. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I just try to, to keep them out of their reach, you know. Well, um, let's see. I'm going to start with my personal favorite, Oreos. Um... Each cookie only has 140 cal calories, which <laughs> only one cookie. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> That's enough calories, and like, <laughs> like I was being sarcastic. Oh Jenna. my Atlanta. I was being sarcastic. Okay, she does not get my humor. Well, I mean, I count my calories, you know. Yeah. Like, well, I'm going to put 140 calories in my body right now. Oh, you mm. fatty. Mm. I don't understand how you do it. See, what I like about Oreos <laughs> is, is that the chocolatey on the outside. And I probably shouldn't finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a nice, delicious middle. <laughs> That's good, um... Cleanses the palate. Cleanses the teeth. Right, right. <laughs> it's more of a, a refreshing, um, um, what, what would you call it? What's that word? It gives you a refreshing aura after you, mm -hmm. after you take them into right. your body. It's just like, you cannot not like Oreos. Like, I don't know a single person. Everybody has their own way of eating an Oreo. Right, right. For me, I peel off the top of the Oreo eat that. Then I proceed to peel off the cream. But you know, you can't really have an Oreo without milk. It's not the same without True. the milk. And it's not the same unless poor. it's double stuff. I know. It's because of poor college students. But it's good with Capri Sun though. I have, Whitney, I have a confession to make. What? I went to the store today without you. And I bought something. I wasn't going to tell you, but oh. I got my Dean's chocolate milk today. Oh. And I wasn't going to tell you. I was just going to, you know, keep it on the DL or have those Americans say it and not let you know. But I do think it's I cannot believe you are behind my back like that. It is the bomb diggity for, for Oreos. And, but I mean, you know, these chips ahoy, these chewy ones, mm. they can definitely. I mean, they're very good too. Whitney can tell you about how she ate my Oreos the first week of living. I was very upset. I had a guest to come over. And I was like, hello, would you like a cookie? And she was like, sure. And we opened it up and there was only four left. And I said, Whitney, have you been eating my cookies? And she said, yes. <laughs> because she thought I was going to jump her or something. Like, I totally would have shared my cookies. But it's just that I didn't know that they were there when I had a guest. And it was very embarrassing for me. But the good thing is she bought me some new replacements. But well, you know, living with a roommate, it's, it's difficult. Especially living with, you know. Well, you know, next time... Next time we'll have to discuss the, the difficulties and the, the tips of living with another person. Especially for those who have had okay. their own bedroom their whole Okay, life. Jenna. This is not the time. 
I'm sorry. I'm Moving sorry. Moving on. I'm sorry. I just get so I get so excited. This episode is about snap foods, not living with another person. What if the person you're living with eats a lot of snack foods? Well, that's their problem, not yours. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> All right, next snack food. Which one should I choose? I kind of like the ho hos. Mm. Ho hos. It's upside down. There you go. It was o o's. <laughs> These delicious, delectables. <coughs> um, have three hundred and seventy calories for three. For one. Oh my lanta. <laughs> I can feel my arteries Which clogging just thinking about it's it. It's really the reason that I have a full box left. Um I tried to eat one and I could honestly feel the calories slipping out of the snack food and into my body and it was it was very unpleasant i was i was seeing her gain the freshman 15 mm -hmm. right then it was almost immediate it was um just went straight through me really and went straight to <clears throat> the toilet bowl we'll just leave it at that so it just went straight to the toilet bowl that's bam not, right there that is not what i was going to say i well, was going I to say i was going to say the fat cells in my stomach the the what do they what do they call them the adipose tissue adipose tissue adipose, adipose tissue, tissue. repeat it with us study up on it adipose, adipose tissue, tissue. It's the, you know, the spongy stuff. And you know when people get old and wrinkly, it's because their adipose tissue starts to sag. You don't want to do that. Drink a lot of water. But then mm. again, back to the snack foods. And Capri Sun. Capri Sun, yes. That does have a lot of water in it. There's okay. not exactly a nutritional label on it. Oh, so you might want to. Oh. We'll have to make our own. I'll have sure. to check the box. For sure. Next um, is not really a snack food, but it is a food and a favorite of mine, especially if I'm sick or... Just needing something for lunch. Okay, it's <laughs> Campbell's chicken noodle soup, and um, it has oh sixty calories. That's not bad at all. Not it's really. really no, not. I mean I can I can see it slimming your body as you right, eat it. Right, right. And it's and it's healthy for you too, mm. and it always makes you the feel better if you have a bad day. Is is very uh, refreshing and renewing. Um, Whitney actually went a, a long time just just eating soup. I believe I did. I went on a twenty one day fast, and chicken noodle soup broth was the only thing that I ate or drank, um, and it kept me healthy. So the only downside, though, is it does give you a little bit of a raunchy stench to your breath. It it has a very bad leftover smell, mm. so you must brush your teeth immediately after. Right, or or it. um, Stride or Five Gum or um, what's that? What's that other one? The Orbit. 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 Keeps your right. mouth fresh. And then there's always those like the Orbit. Like what do they call them? That you know the rip slip brush R thing. Oh right. Um, yes. Forget what they're called. Brush yeah. ups. Orbit. Was it orbit. No, no, no. That was. It was Crest, wasn't it? Oh, I thought it was Oral B brush ups. Or Oral B. Yes, 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 Oral yes. I, I believe that was more of an, an American thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, I went over there for a while. And, mm. Right. Um, you know how they are. <clears throat> so they bang those commercials into your head. Just bang, bang, right. all into your brain, and it, right. it, it turns your brain to mush. It really, it right. really is. Um, okay, <sighs> moving nice. on. Let's see. Ah! Nutri grain balls. I had to bring Whitney one of those to class the other day yes. because she forgot to eat breakfast. Forgot to eat breakfast. Um, this is a nice, a nice breakfast to have when you're on the go. Um, for me, I have 8 a.m. classes. My Not a good Thursday. idea, just to let you know. Right, right. Not a good idea at all. Um... <clears throat> Monday through Thursday, so usually on my way out the door, I usually grab one of these on the go, and we're good, you know, um, tides me over, it um, gives me nutrition, obviously. Um, How much fibre is in those, just out of curiosity? Oh, I don't 